put you on a bike, Stephen, and let you be a hero. You got what it takes, baby. You're a brave man, Stephen. Get out here in your own yeah. show. Boy, I... Does Keanu Reeves ride a motorcycle by any chance? That little piss ant! You get him to ride a taxi cab right. You crazy? Oh, Johnny Depp. Oh, come on. get him on one of those Vincent Black shadows? Depp's something I wouldn't put on your hair. You nuts? I'm just thinking of your magazine. I love now, my magazine. In the center fold, yeah. cheesecake galore. You got that right. I had her 15 Delhi. times. 15, Stephen. Couldn't we Woo. make a better use of that space pod and what? employ it what? to maybe present somebody like, I don't know, Chad Everett? Come on, Stephen, that fag. Get out of here, little Stephen. I mean, I love that Rob Lowe. He's the work. All right, Stephen. Shit, we'll get to it down the line. Oh God, Another this issue. Is a magnificent publication. Though. Damn, what a you no, critically, Pug. I know you believe in a libertarian type of thing. Yeah, that's right. Freedom, live freedom. and let live. That's right. That's why I love you, brother. No matter what your affiliation is, you know which way that way. Who do you want to see as president this year? Who would be the person to take those silly helmets off, everybody, so I can see their long. Frailing hair. Wow, Lyndon LaRouche is the only man got his head screwed on straight. He's a biker from way back. That's who I'm going to for. Freedom of the road. That's right. Freedom of the road. The road belongs to us, baby. We and pay the taxes. lead to you know who. We pay the taxes for the roads. They belong to I us. I just love having this show, Pug. Yeah, man. Because I can present stuff. Like this magnificent book of yours. You tell that, baby. My God. It's a hell of a magazine, ain't it? Tell me about... To command, but just to Tell me about some of the fascinating stuff in the back here. Well, there's some in good ads. Back, I see a lot of the ads. Yeah, for... baby. Well, well stankings. God knows some of you need them. Mm-hmm. A lot of women I'd like to spank. Christy Turley. You get trouble from their religious no fall, right? Huh? Talk about spanking now. Who gives a... I don't go to church no more. I had enough of that when I was a kid. Had to beat the priest a couple of times. Isn't that sad? Well, give me no wine. Here, a lot of these guys are just virile real men. You got like that straight. bones of the 1990s. That's right. And you have these silly-ass church groups. Yeah. Trying to repress them? Yep. Always up to good. Yep. I say it's up to all of us. That's right, see them. Join together. America Party! Get rid of those healthy Americans! Long, greasy hair flowing yeah. off the back of my skull. That's right, Steve. That's right, bro. You got a man like the Standells used to have. And the Didn't that gorgeous roots. Don Henley say, I'm yeah, on the road yeah. today? I saw a deadhead sticker on the back of her ass! Hell yeah, he did! He said that! He said that! These are bikers. They're beautiful, baby. Well, baby, look at me. Am I not beautiful? Jeez, come on. Pug, what can we do as Americans to help support magnificent things like biker parties? Yeah, I want you all to get out and buy it, for one. You bought yours, Stephen. I want everybody to buy one of these beautiful magazines. Put that centerfold sales so guys, on the living room. How are you doing? How is Biker Parties doing in the market? I don't go to no supermarkets. I went to Pavilions one time to steal some apples, and that was about it. <laughs> but in the great market of the I world... I think it's time for all those beautiful brutes out there. Um, hey, I've got the one right here. And all those others that ride those big, big machines. That's right, Stephen. You tell me. To join the cause. Imagine having one them between Get behind this magazine. Yeah, that's right. This is the only magazine any of y'all should and buy. Jay Leno, <coughs> oh. Mr. Car Wash Extra, 1976, Give me somehow out and got the job I should have had. That's right, Stephen. That should have been yours tonight's show. If you were that, but Mr. Doug can do a jawline. Yeah, that that ugly. ugly man, he's ugly. She she is. couldn't even be picked up on a bus terminal. In Atlanta, looks like some road apples I seen outside uh, Arizona. That job should have been mine. That's oh, right. Don't get me you. started, Pug. You're hell of a host, baby. You, you should whip him with your tire chain. God, I love to, Mr. J. Leno. I go to Dirty Space a couple of times. Rare 1934 Indians. 
How about you ride in the space? Looks like somewhere already did. Yeah, Steve and yeah. Gary Bosey. I love that boy. And all those other weekend yuppie riders that fall in line. Yeah, a bunch of crazy folks. And get behind the only magazine that cares we do about care. their freedom. That's right, we care, Stephen. We're Americans. Party! Party, party, down! Let, let me ask you some personal Woo. questions. Woo. Being I mean, a heavily, cool heavily man. knowledgeable Damn. biker guy, yeah, that's me, baby. If I, little Stevie, been riding since I was three, was to get a tattoo, <sighs> and you could put it on yourself. Yeah, well, if I was to get a tattoo, what kind of image do you think would be appropriate to a very popular TV host? Well, see, Stephen, I think maybe with you. <laughs> What we'd like to do is a nice little uh, flamingo or maybe peacock. <laughs> then you can well, really party. Let me ask you another question. I thought it was good. Say we're on a Memorial Day run yeah. going up the coast. You're welcome to come, baby. All of us. Yeah. Like a horde of barbarians. I put you on behind me in my body for three years. Oh, striking breeders! Yeah. Damn kids. Can't Just going up Route 5. Okay, yeah, I got like 15 a strong, kids. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Like a deadly nest of hornets. That's like right, baby. We scare it. We scare the hell out of those station wagons loaded with those breeders. They should even be out on the road. Party! Party! Say we get up there to uh, Big Sur mm -hmm. or Hollister. Or one of those other popular biker hangs. Oh, I love Big Sur on the beach. That girl in the centerfold here and I am the other day. Would you say little Stevie? Yeah. Yours truly. That's right. Should bring to a biker party. Well, Stephen, a guy like you, I guess, would bring some fondue or maybe some quiche. <laughs> or, you know, well, get some burritos. Whatever turns you up. Anyway, so we've established what tattoo I should have. Hmm. <laughs> There's so many fascinating things in here, Pud. Tell me, what's the worst thing that's ever happened to you as a biker? Well, Stephen, I think I was doing this show. No, I'm just ribbing you a little. I love being on here with you. The worst thing that happened was some pigs impounded my bike back in 1962. Also, that's right. tell me, Pud. That's right. There's been so many wonderful songs about the outlaw aspect yeah. of motorcycles. That's right, brother. What's violent? What would you say is the top song? Just describing that raw experience of being on a hog, having it vibrating all the way up through your tuckus. You ain't kidding me. I'd say the best one is Mr. John K. I voted for him for mayor in 1969. Steppenwolf, born to be wild, party! Party! There have been so party. many. <laughs> I used to go see all of them. Satan's Angels, Satan's Devils, Satan's Pool Cleaners. Those movies were for webs. Billiard Ball. Bunch of lies. Sodomizing. Oh, a bunch of lies. Leprechaun Legends of the Road. Any one of that Wonder movies was any worth a damn. Satan was cue balls. I got Hell's Angels on wheels. That was demons. Jack Nicholson when he was young, before he got Wild fat. Wild hog. Got fat. Are there any movies you thought really, I just said, were somewhat realistic in capturing that fabulous outlaw essence? Yeah, well, I'm working on one right now. Jack. It's called Citizen Harley. It's kind of takeoff on that, uh, the other fat guy, Wells, he did one. Citizen Harley, it's about the history of me from the age of three when I first got on the bike. Pug. Yeah. I hear that. Not only is a biker party hold it straight now, Steve. Interactive scene and run for all you nerd netheads out there. Well, I bought a computer just the other day. It wouldn't work, and I kicked it a couple times. Also, got the net. Biker <coughs> biker parties is going to be a regular NBC series. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! War this is just so bad, exciting. Man. Had to beat us at an uh, at a war demonstration back when. Damn peace, Nick, and now we see eye to eye. How can the people out there access you and mm -hmm. get in touch and stay up to date on all the latest developments? People can write to me, care of this show, Stephen. I don't think you mind taking some mail from me, do you, until we get our net thing set up. Are there any other things we can look forward to in the future, Pug? Yeah, well, I don't know what you can look forward to because they're closing a lot of clubs. <laughs> things that people out there might want to get. 
Yeah, well, we got t-shirts, very attractive kind of stuff. I got my own new line of boots, special riding shoes, and I got my own little no, it's just part so of the beer. That's too so thoughtful, serious, someone who's a real man. The beer is cold filtered, Stephen. Can I mention that? Cold I filtered. I've been doing a lot of Hollywood actor interviews on this program since my cousin Tommy has left me in the lurch. Yeah, I used to watch Studio 13 back when. That was a good show, actually. He had some wild stuff. pleasure it is to have somebody on who's a real man. That's right, brother. And that's me. I can whip anybody and lick anyone. Well, that was the meaning of hard work. Yeah, that's right. Licking a woman is hard work. Don't get work half the time. Union. Union all the way. That's right, baby. Mm -hmm. Hug. In fact, what do you do? Other than editing this magnificent magazine. Well, I got injured in the war, Stephen, and I've been, uh, that's what I do. Night of the magazine, okay? Okay? That's all I want to say about it. I got injured in the war, and I edit the magazine. Hug. I don't know how I could even go beyond what I've done already in extending my right. sincerest appreciation. This magazine is so great because it includes fall listings of biker parties! That's right, Stephen. Everyone's like me can attend because I'm cool. You are, baby. But maybe a lot of you out there won't be privy to That's if right. you get your butt kicked they out the really door the outside of Cornwall, out. Stephen. They need to wonder Go now. ahead and show up without a 12-pack of Schaefer beer. See what it gets you! That's right, Stephen. A lot of people are damn fools when it comes to hanging with bikers. Don't know our ways, our codes. I would never be seen dead without guacamole and a 12-pack. Right, Pug? That's right, Stephen. You parted down! Parted down! Anyway, as I say on the road, down. this is little Stevie X signing out for tonight. Man. Yes, oh, God, beautiful man. Food, ride, forever. <laughs>